Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle but in a more practical and sensible way. Louis Vuitton after the era of date codes. Can we or do we dare to purchase any more Louis Vuitton items from pre-owned markets because they don't have date codes? Does it mean automatically those can't be authenticated? Let's discuss. So what kind of brought me the idea of this video that I would be super curious to also know your thoughts about this is that Louis Vuitton decided to remove all date codes from their new items starting spring 2021. And Prior to that, there had been some type of stamp of a date code in the items, usually somewhere inside, um, that would state um, the factory where it was made of, as well as the week of the year that it was made. And the date code itself consisted of two letters, which were referring to the actual factory, and then four numbers, which were referring to the week and the year. I will have an example here on the screen. This is just something I made up, so please don't go and check from anywhere. But basically there are four letters, then a dash for numbers, where the first and the third number refers to the week that it was made, and the second and fourth number refers to the year it was made. And there might be like some older, very vintage pieces where the logic was different, but this has been kind of the way how to interpret Louis Vuitton date codes um, until spring 2021. And then they went and changed the system, whereas they removed the visible date codes from their products that they've now been producing and instead have like a QR code type of thing somewhere inside where you need to scan the date code to be able to, to have the same information. And um, it was, I've been following this situation as a person who loves to buy pre-owned stuff. Um, I've been very curiously following the reactions and discussions around this and um, yeah, now recently, I think it was last week, I kind of saw a discussion which prompt this video idea. So basically, um, quite like people, I put it in brackets as like a, a big group of people, <laughs> not everyone, but just like people seemed to co go nuts over the date code. And they there was a lot of stress if they would ever dare to purchase pre-owned anymore if they were newer from the spring 2021 because they didn't have the date code and there i saw or and discussed with quite many people who felt that they actually will not purchase any more pre-owned items that have been made after the date code removal so basically they are requiring the item to have a date code if they are going to purchase it pre-owned and um, i think it was also quite hilarious to uh, follow the discussions for instance in a local louis vuitton facebook group that i'm a member of where people are very passionate about louis vuitton where they were kind of um asking like why is louis vuitton doing this blah 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 Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton doesn't give beep, basically. They don't give, like, they don't care about the pre-owned market. In fact, they would prefer that there wouldn't be no type of pre-owned market, that everyone would go to the boutique and purchase there. They don't really, they don't have any type of incentive to make sure that it's easier to sell uh, the items, like, without the date code. They don't care, it's not their problem. Once the purchase has been made from their boutique, they're just like, if you wanna get rid of it, it's on you. So it, there was like very, very interesting comments and thoughts around the date codes. But the thing that really sparked 
this video is that I saw someone commenting that apparently there is now uh, one or more of these very reputable, trustworthy companies who do authenticate luxury designer pieces. So they had informed that person who was sharing this story um, when they were trying to authenticate a newer Louis Vuitton piece that they are no longer doing it because it doesn't have the date code. And that got me thinking that is it somehow universally um, bulletproof way that like the date code is so needed for the authentication that without it there are companies who at least claimed to have like uh, 10 to 15 to 20 years of experience of authenticating Louis Vuitton items that they would actually be leaning on the date code so much and I think that's a bit scary but hey, before we get any deeper into this topic, if you enjoy this type of videos or in general enjoy talking about luxury fashion, then most likely you're gonna enjoy it here as well. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, it would mean so much to me, but definitely please do come back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I think you would also like it here. So I will tell you a personal experience that I had because I only do have one newer Louis Vuitton piece that is without the date code and it is my Kirigami pouch. This is the larger one. I did purchase the whole set I think maybe in August. I do have some videos. I will leave them here if you are curious to know. But long story short, I only have the large pouch left. I've sold the medium and small sizes because I just didn't need them. And because this is purchased in August, this is newer. I bought this from the boutique. There are no date codes. It is just leather, lovely leather, by the way, no date codes in here. And it was interesting when I um, sold the two pouches, um, the, one, the one of the, the buyers from those. So I had very clearly stated that when I had purchased these, I had the receipt. So there was a copy of the receipt um, and, and all of that. So I had stated very clearly that this is August 2021, no date code because it's newer stuff. So uh, <laughs> one of the buyers or the one who bought it from me, um, they got the receipt they had it authenticated or basically I sold it through Vestier Collective. So there was one set of authentication um, and then they had it also authenticated by themselves. So basically receipt and two layers of authentication. And uh, the person messaged me maybe let's say three days after they received the item that it doesn't have a date code in it uh, and that they are not sure if it is authentic or not. And that really got me thinking that even though I had clearly stated that it doesn't have a date code, that it's a newer model, uh, they had a copy of the receipt and they were, I mean, we can all say things about Vestier Collective's authentication uh, if we, we think it's reliable or not. They had it also authenticated and it came back authentic. And still they felt insecure because they it didn't have the date code. Um, and I was just like, well, you had that information before you made the purchase, so I can't really do anything at this point. Uh, so that was kind of an interesting way of approaching that clearly that buyer felt very unsecure without the code, even with the copy of the receipts and two authentications. I do understand that there is a lot of fakes out there, but still, if you are willing to purchase from the pre-owned market, I don't really know how much more there could have been to prove that it's authentic 
unless they would have come to me to the Louis Vuitton boutique when I bought it. I don't, I don't know. But it, but anywho, so basically <laughs> getting back to the story of this company who had told that they will not authenticate unless it has the date code. Uh, I find it quite um, odd, really, because date code is just one element of the authentication but date code is not a bulletproof thing because the logic is public knowledge, like the logic of the code, it's all over the internet. It is super, super easy to actually just fake a date code that would match. So, um, I mean, yes, in a way from the date code, you can determine if the date code is wrong or like fake, they can't match. So then you can kind of say that, okay, this is a fake because if the, let's say the factory reference refers to Spain and it says made in France, for instance, so then you know that it's, um, it's not authentic or that it was made, let's say on week 63 of the year 2014, like there is no week 63 um, or, a bag model that was discontinued suddenly has a date code from a newer time, like these type of things. You can eliminate that it is not authentic. Yes, but it will not secure authenticity. And that's why I'm a bit like baffled um, how focused people and clearly some companies are on the date code itself because there are so many other things that authenticators look at, such as stitching, all of this. They, they need to look what the color the thread is, um, and in certain pieces, like actually count how many stitches there are in certain places. The fonts, for instance, like this font here, um, that is something that is looked when authenticating items because the font needs to be a specific one uh, to, to be like Louis Vuitton. The clasp itself, does it have something stamped on it? Let's say here, hopefully it's visible. Um, and these type of things. Or then how the, uh, let's look at canvas pieces for instance how the canvas is positioned, so how it is cut, because there is always like um, a specific amount of, let's say these LVs and they need to be straight. Or then here, how the mm, sides go, etc. So there is so many places where authenticators look at. So it is not only about the date code. So that's why I'm, a bit uh, surprised of how big of a deal the date code has been for people so far. And if these companies who are doing these authentications online based on photos, so uh, there's also some that I have used and they usually have like a very, very good reputation. They are reliable, etc. So there are specific photos that they are requesting to be able to authenticate. So I'm thinking, does this mean that, for instance, online authentication is, is getting more difficult, for instance, um, that we will be moving at some point more towards physical authentication, that you need to bring your item to someone who then kind of looks through everything and how it feels and, and all of that. So um, I'm I'm just like, I was not aware that the date code was such a big, big thing. Um, I guess because there is so much fakes going on and some of the fakes are so good. Like they are so look alike that it's like, it's dangerous already. Because uh, one would imagine that they could 
see what's fakes or not but it's not that easy as far as i've understood from the super fakes so i do understand that people are more cautious about this but the date code wasn't like 100 percent bulletproof even before so these are there's still many elements to look at when buying louis vuitton like even if it would have a date code there is still many things to look at from the item and there was already like someone who said uh in my local facebook group that uh, those who are trying to now sell louis vuitton items without the date code that their resale value is worse than the ones that have the date code am i missing something like it's the same thing most likely it is in better condition it's newer um and I mean, with this, of course, like if it is, let's say, um, a mini pochette that you have bought five years ago and you try to sell it now, of course, the resale value is going to be better because the price increases have been enormous. Like, for instance, I could double what I paid and I've had it for four years or something. So imagine having like an older mini pochette, but like, um, uh, I didn't mean that way, but in a way that if I would now um have let's say an an alma bag which is in um like almost new condition and then i would have bought it in october and then i would have another alma bag uh from february this year that i hadn't used at all and let's play pretend that there wasn't a price increase so that i would have paid the same amount that the one that has the date code that is older would have a better resale value than the one that i purchased its newer one but it doesn't have it this is like an interesting phenomena for me i don't know how it is to you but i am just um it's it's strange that this is kind of how it has turned out um and i'm really kind of curiously following the scene of date codes i mean luckily right now there is not really anything from Louis Vuitton that I would want to buy, new or pre-owned or newer or older. Like there's only one thing and I know that I will not be buying it um, because I don't need it, <laughs> basically. Um, so it doesn't matter. They are not really having low prices in the pre-owned market. So I would anyway go to the boutique and I'm not going to do that. So I, there is nothing I'm looking at right now. So I'm more like curiously following the discussion of what is happening with the date codes because if it didn't come through yet through how i positioned um everything in this video my personal opinion regarding the date codes is that i feel it is one element of uh the item and it is describing where and when it was made and that's that's it it is not 100 percent authentic if the date code matches um so there is still a lot of other things to consider and to look at when having a louis vuitton piece so i feel like for as us amateurs let's put it like that like collectors but yet amateurs the date code was kind of like an easy way to self-authenticate the items so it gave some type of peace of mind to people when they at least saw that the date code matches with um, what the bag says where it was made and if it was possible that it was made during that time but it still is like only one part of the authentication and it's not everything so i find it very strange that an item that doesn't have it would be less valuable than something that has it and maybe i'm alone with this thought but that's just at least how i see it um and i feel it's kind of a shame for those who do not have the date code in their items and if they're trying to sell them um or whatever and then someone or a lot of people would see them as less valuable because of it 
because it doesn't make it less authentic though. So I think this is like a sad phenomenon in a way, but I'm assuming that people are gonna get used to this and uh, let's say in a year or so, uh, it, it's not gonna be a big deal. I might be super wrong and suddenly everyone are just wanting to buy items pre-2021 March or something. I might be seriously wrong here, but that's just how I, I feel and I kind of hope that the direction is because these these items are expensive and even though you would not purchase them to resale because i really hope that you're not doing that um or that we are not doing that in general that we are buying these because we get the, the joy out of them but we never know what happens in life uh we might need the money for something or we just sincerely sincerely might get bored with the items or anything and we might want to like pass them on and uh, sell them forward uh, so that someone else actually can enjoy it more than what you do. I don't see anything wrong with it. And then because it was made after a certain time period, which is not reflecting to quality, because that I would understand if it would be like clearly proved that items produced between March 2021 to December 2021 are seriously worse quality than items produced between October 2020 to February 2021 or something, you maybe get the idea. Then I would understand, but the thing is only about the date codes. So that I just like, hmm, I don't, I don't really think that's uh, a good direction. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, I, I'm like super curious to know, do you see that there is a lesser value with items that don't have the date code? And if you are ever kind of looking on the pre-owned market, do you see the date code as a requirement that you want or need to have in it for you to be able to purchase? Or would you still be okay buying if it doesn't have it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!